I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will derive Pythagorean theorem from right triangle geometric mean leg theorem. Now some of you might not have seen my other video on geometric mean leg theorem so in this case we'll kind of derive uh, the leg theorem also right. So in this case we have a right triangle we have dropped a perpendicular from C to the hypotenuse of the right triangle it divides the line segment which is the hypotenuse into two sides x and y so x plus y is c now let us consider the triangles uh, two set of triangles the smaller ones with the bigger ones we know they are similar let's prove it and then find ratio of the sides to first derive right triangle geometric mean leg theorem right so if you consider the triangle bca and the triangle since we'll take this one B C A C is the right triangle so we'll say B D C order is kind of important right it helps you to write similarity if you consider these two triangles angle C and angle D are 90 degrees correct angle C for the big triangle D for the small they are 90 degrees plus angle B is common this angle is common to both of them right Therefore, because of AA, they are similar. So, I'll write similar here. Since they are similar, their sides will be in equal ratios. Now, if you consider the big triangle, hypotenuse over the side, which is opposite angle A, we are taking a C over A. And for the smaller triangle, the hypotenuse is A and side opposite to this, we will find that this angle is actually equal to that angle. So side opposite to this is Y. So hypotenuse is A over Y is equal to A over Y. So from the similarity of this triangle, you get this ratio of sides. If you cross multiply, you get CY equals to a square and that is the geometric mean theorem a is equals to square root of cy correct so the leg of the hypot leg of the right triangle is geometric mean of hypotenuse and the adjacent side segment of the hypotenuse now if you consider the other small triangle with the big triangle that is to say we'll write triangle so this triangle right right triangle B A C or we should write B C A let me write B C A we'll order it accordingly B C A and this triangle in this triangle 90 degrees is at D and so we'll call it C D A you will notice that we have 190 degrees in both which is the angle D correct and angle A is common so using the property of double A so they are that is the property for similarity these two triangles are also similar so here also we can compare the ratio of the sides with hypotenuse and what do we get so for the big triangle in these two triangles it is C over B right is equal to the hypotenuse for the smaller triangle here is B right B over X so when you cross multiply you get C times X equals to B square right so this leg of the right triangle is geometric mean of hypotenuse and the adjacent side so that is the geometric mean theorem correct so so those of you who know the theorem they can start from here itself so this part is from geometric means we get two equations here now we'll prove the Pythagorean theorem so let's add these two equations that is a square plus b square is equals to what a square is cy right and b square is cx correct now we can take c common let's factor it out so we get y plus x what is y plus x y plus x is c so this could be written as c times c or c square right and that is what the Pythagorean theorem is so let me write big and bold a square plus b square is equal to c square right so that is how you can prove Pythagorean theorem for a right triangle that's an excellent proof 
you can use it with or without right triangle geometric means. So in this video, I hope you understand both theorems. One, you know now how to prove right triangle geometric mean leg theorem and also the Pythagorean theorem. I am Anil Kumar. You can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot. Thank you and all the best.